Hi everybody, Dave Altavilla for Hot Hardware, and this is the mostly new Alienware M17X gaming notebook. Now I say mostly new because the M17X has been in Alienware's product lineup for quite a while now, but this new machine is refreshed with Intel Ivy Bridge Core i7 3720QM quad-core processor technology under the hood, as well as NVIDIA's GeForce GTX 680M mobile graphics chip, their latest Kepler technology on board here for the M17X. So this machine is infused with lots of new gaming performance and goodness on the go, kinda sorta, big machine, but let's take a look around the Alienware M17X, show you how it runs, and then run it through the benchmarks. Alrighty, so the M17X that we'll be taking a look at here today is based on Intel's third generation Ivy Bridge Core i7-3720QM quad-core processor with six meg of onboard cache, a base frequency of 2.6 gigahertz, and a max turbo boost frequency of 3.6 gigahertz. Also on board is eight gig of dual channel DDR3 1600 megahertz system memory, as well as a 500 gig 7200 RPM hard drive backed by a 32 gig M SATA caching SSD. So with Intel Smart Response technology, that hard drive is going to feel a lot more like an SSD in terms of response times. Also on board the system is an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 680M mobile graphics engine backed by 2 gig of GDDR5 system memory. This is NVIDIA's latest Kepler-based architecture for mobile graphics applications and uh, one of the fastest GPUs on the market for copious amounts of gaming bandwidth. Uh, the panel is a gorgeous 17.3 inch wide FHD display with a native resolution of 1920 by 1080 uh, LED backlit display, 60 hertz panel, just gorgeous. And finally also on board are a couple of other interesting odds and ends. Wireless networking provided by Killer Wireless N1103 Wireless NIC. And uh, this is a 802.11 AGN Wi-Fi technology, but it is also based on Killer NIC technology. So you get traffic shaping and uh, priorit prioritization as well as low ping times associated with uh, Killer's technology for wireless gamers and so pretty interesting stuff there and a slot low dual layer blu-ray reader uh, combo dvd cdrw drive on board as well let's take a look around the machine and show you a few more of its features all right so moving in closely to the keyboard area of the m17x the current model as it exists today this is alienware's stealth black soft touch finish and actually really nice sort of rubberized coating that is in the palm rest area on the back of the system on the lid as well as the sides and certain areas of the system as well and gives a really solid rugged feel to the system um, actually resists fingerprints fairly well you might muck it up a little bit and then it does clean up fairly easily as well again that rubberized finish so we really like that it's really sharp and uh, sort of minimalistic and uh, the keyboard area is really large nice uh, sort of textured uh, or I should say beveled keycaps that um, sort of contour to your fingers you get a full numpad over here and of course this is a backlit keyboard so with uh, alien effects you can change the color map of the keyboard in various zones you've actually got nine zones in this model and we'll go ahead and change a few of these up for you right now you've probably seen this before but we can go ahead and change all these zones over to red and from our cool blue hue that we've got going on right now and um, you know pretty pretty sweet stuff so you can customize the look and feel you've got this color wheel here that gives you uh, a bunch of different colors of the rainbow available to you and you can customize zones individually to your liking. Another nice feature of the M17X right above the numpad area here is this control bar. These are tactile push buttons. They're actually not capacitive touch. Backlit uh, push buttons for controlling different functions of the system. You've got a volume up, down, and mute button here. You've got controls for your optical drive, including uh, fast forward, uh, reverse, and uh, eject. You've got a Wi-Fi on off button, and also you can actuate uh, Alien Command Center with a touch of a button right here. And then of course over here is the signature alien head power button uh, combo HDD status indicator light. Um, the, the eyes will actually light up briefly. Let's see if we can get them to flash for you. There you go. Um, as uh, you are indicating some activity on the hard drive. So some nice features with the M17X in terms of that extra little bling for the gamers out there. On the right edge of the machine is your slot load optical drive as well as an SD card slot, a pair of super speed USB 3 ports and an eSATA port and believe it or not an HDMI input port. 
on the left edge of the M17X, we've got a bevy of ports and I.O. options. You get your Kensington lock port here, a gigabit Ethernet port, VGA, HDMI output, uh, display port, another two USB 3 ports right here, SPDIF out, microphone in, and a pair of headphone ports. All right, so here we are on the back side of the M17X, and this is where the uh, AC power adapter plugs in right there. And as you can see, the power brick is significantly thinner and lighter than previous generation M17X power supplies. Uh, as you can see, it's uh, about the same width, but thickness-wise, it's much thinner and uh, definitely much lighter. And this is courtesy of some of those lower power, more efficient mobile technologies that we spoke of earlier from Intel and NVIDIA under the hood, that Ivy Bridge processor and that NVIDIA Kepler GeForce GTX 680M mobile graphics chip. Uh, much more power efficient, but certainly lots of horsepower uh, for gamers. And uh, so, you know, you get a much uh, smaller, lighter, uh, power supply, thankfully, as a result of that. And of course, on top here, you've got the signature Alienware illuminated logo on the hood. Real sharp, again, that stealth black rubberized finish, soft touch finish, and uh, really sharp machine all around. Let's fire it up and show you how it runs. And finally, here we are running Batman Arkham City, the uh, game benchmark test. Actually, we've got the native resolution of the panel set here. So the game resolution is set to 1920 by 1080. And uh, anti-aliasing is set to high. We've got uh, DX11 effects turned on, uh, tessellation and all that good stuff turned up to high. So max image quality all around. We've got NVIDIA PhysX enhanced uh, hardware accelerated physics technology turned on as well. So you can see in this next scene coming up, lots of shrapnel, lots of rubble flying here. So uh, again, PhysX acceleration turned on. Again, at 1920 by 1080 resolution of the panel uh, for the game resolution, and we're going to get about 57 frames per second in terms of frame rate, which is actually very good for this leading edge DirectX 11 game title on the Alienware M17X. So this has been a quick take look. I'm Dave Altavilla for Hot Hardware. Make sure you stop by our site for the full review. This has been a quick look at the Alienware M17X gaming notebook. Thanks for stopping by.